Rocky is on the um, border of Yellowwood State Forest. <coughs> the old forest bill will ensure that 10% of state forests can mature into old forests. Old forests are rare in Indiana. This is a habitat that supports high biological diversity, unique assemblages of animals, plants, and fungi that are found nowhere else but in old growth forests. Large unlocked areas of interior forest provide lifeboats or refugia for mobile species affected by logging practices. Older growth forests provide snags and large standing dead trees which provide habitat for many mammals, birds, and insects. When big old trees die, they leave soil pits and tip-up mounds, as well as rotting logs, which create unique habitats for many species, including amphibians, mammals, spiders, and insects. The large gap that results when an old tree falls allows for sunlight to reach the forest floor, creating conditions suitable for seeds to sprout and early successional plants to thrive. Our knowledge of biological diversity is in its infancy for our Indiana forests. We know a lot about vertebrate diversity. In fact, over 120 species of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians require our forests for feeding and successful reproduction. However, we know very little about the other 90% of all animal species such as insects, spiders, millipedes, and snails. All of these species play important roles in the ecosystem through food webs, decomposition, and healthy soil development. Last year, the spider team, which I participated in at the um, Morgan Monroe Forest Eco Blitz, sponsored by Indiana Forest Alliance, discovered a new species an uh, undescribed species never found before, brand new to science, and we were so excited. Can you imagine, <laughs> as biologists, finding a new species right here in Indiana? You usually think of rainforest, but no, Indiana. Um, in, in a recent published paper, in addition, we used data from multiple surveys, and we reported on 72 spider species that had never before been recorded in Indiana. 40% of those species had, um, were collected in the Morgan Monroe forests and are relied on forest habitat. How many more will we discover as we continue these surveys? A hands-off approach on 10% of forests will enable the development of a forest type and site conditions that were historically common but now are rare. Mature forest plots will provide opportunities for scientific study of natural processes of aging forests, including natural disturbances, biogeochemical um, cycles, soil development, and specific relationships with species. In addition, they provide a critical experimental control for assessing the consequences of active management that occurs in the larger area of the managed forest. In conclusion, old growth forests that are older than 140 years are rare in Indiana. By preserving 10% of each state forest from logging, we are ensuring the future of this biologically rich habitat. Please support this bill. I would like to give you a handout of my